a classic French chocolate hazelnut Napoleon. Now this is layers of baked puff pastry with a chocolate pastry cream filling. So I'm gonna start by making the pastry cream first. I've got a cup of evaporated milk along with a half a cup of regular milk. You can use 2%. I've got the heating milk. And I use three egg yolks. And three tablespoons of cornstarch. We need a thicker pastry cream. It's worth noting that I haven't added any sugar to this recipe because I do have the sweetness in the fact that I've got five ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. It, of course, adds chocolate flavor. Additionally, I have two tablespoons of butter. So I'll whisk my cornstarch and yolks together. The evaporated milk and milk are almost at a full simmer. I'm just gonna add a little bit at first and whisk that in to introduce the warm liquid to the cool eggs. Then, once you have a little bit in, you can add a lot more. And this is simply called tempering. Now I can add the entire mixture back to the stove, back to medium heat, until the cornstarch thickens. But you need to stir constantly. Now that it's come to a full simmer, it is thickened and ready to strain through a strainer onto that chocolate and butter. So the butter and the chocolate have melted through, and this is nice and smooth. Have to add a little vanilla and a little hazelnut liqueur. And just to heighten the hazelnut flavor, I'm going to add a third of a cup of pure hazelnut butter. Mm, I love hazelnut butter. It's toasted before it's ground, so it really has that beautifully rich hazelnut flavor. Now this pastry cream has cooled a fair bit because of the chocolate and the butter, but it has to cool a little longer before I can actually assemble the Napoleon. So I'll set this behind, but that gives me time to bake off the puff pastry layers. And this is where the mastery of handling the puff pastry really comes in. This is about 500 grams of puff pastry, and I'm gonna cut it first into three pieces. And roll this out to a piece about mm, four by eight inches. What's key in rolling a Napoleon is that you have consistent layers. And I have discovered you can use your pasta roller and you get that precise, perfect rolling of puff pastry every single time. Turn it on low speed, set on the widest or lowest setting, and just feed each piece through twice, just like you're making lasagna. And the beautiful thing is, because you're not handling the dough, it stays nice and cold. You're gonna have those many buttery layers. Now, how easy is that? And you know you've got perfectly rolled puff pastry. I'll just take a little bit off the ends. I love puff pastry. It's just so gratifying to work with, especially once you get this comfort level and you can get a little adventurous with it. I want to dock this pastry. Because of the advanced stage of this recipe, we want to control how high up it goes. So I have the pastry docked, but then I need to weight it down a little bit. A piece of parchment so that this tray I put on top doesn't stick. In this case, I've preheated my oven to 400. I'll put this in the oven for 10 minutes, just like so. Then I'll add a couple of bricks. And for the next 10 minutes, have that weighted down. And for the last 10 minutes, I'll pull off the weights, the pan, and the top layer of parchment so that you can get a nice, even golden brown on the pastry. So after the 30 minutes, you've got this beautiful golden brown pastry with a controlled rise. That means we've got room for all that pastry cream when we assemble it. After the pastry has had a chance to cool, like these, the pastry cream itself has had a chance to cool and thicken. I'm ready to assemble the Napoleon. I spread half of this chocolate hazelnut pastry cream over the base layer. Now, the second layer gets placed on top. Gently press it, and that remaining pastry cream gets put on top. Now, the final. Just press it down gently. 
And this really only needs an hour or two to set. When you make a classic formal dessert like this, it's all about those last few details. Now what I like to do is trim the outside edges of the Napoleon. That way you're really showing off those thousands of flaky layers. The last touch, a generous dusting of icing sugar right on top. 